Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Going through some of the comments and things like that and some of the stuff I've been hearing on some of the live feeds we've been doing, especially on our Sunday night live chat. Um, I've got people, some people that want to see toys. And I like toys. Everybody likes toys. I like toy cars. We've got a lot of toy cars. So, <laughs> I thought we'd try to do something different tonight. If you guys like it, let me know. If you don't care, don't want to see it, throw that in the comments too. We can stop doing them. It's just... Uh, a lot of the guys on the Nobody Show page want to see the cars and the parts. So I thought, well, if we just took Tuesday, maybe we could plug in some toys and uh, <laughs> maybe take make Tuesday night toys, memorabilia, things like that. I mean, that's such a wide open category that we can do a lot with separate from, you know, the cars and the parts and things like that. So, you know, there's so much cool stuff we can do with this if you guys are interested. So like I always tell you, throw it in the comments and uh and i'll check them i don't check them all the time but occasionally i will get them checked and, and let me know if you're interested in keeping doing a segment on toys and memorabilia or if we should just scratch it and just stick with cars and parts and plug in a little bit of memorabilia from now every now and again but i made a couple of quick notes just thinking about what we could do with this if everybody's on board with it you know obviously toy cars hot wheels the old japanese tens from the 50s die cast promo models model kits uh, the old hard rubber toys, plastic toys, the Ren walls. I mean, there's so many different things just in the toy category. You know, not even getting into gas and oil where we could get into signs, cans, things like that, tag toppers. Um, and then you get into memorabilia. You've got, you know, we've got badges, board games, license plates. There's so many different things we can do with this. If you guys are interested and want to see it. So I do look, you know, I do try to listen to what you guys want to see. Uh, I do have somebody wearing me out on doing some station wagon videos. Definitely going to do some station wagon videos because station wagons rule. So, and I got another station wagon in yesterday, so I'm excited about that. So, anyway, <laughs> tonight, to look at some toys, I just grabbed a random handful of Hot Wheels. So, let's check out some Hot Wheels that I picked out for tonight, and uh, we'll see where we go with things from here as far as if we want to continue doing toy and memorabilia Tuesday or, and what different topics you guys want to see when we do it. So let's flip the camera around and look at some Hot Wheels. Like I said, I just laid out a few random ones here. I guess we can start over here on the right with the Poison Pinto. Kind of a cool one. 70s era, obviously. Bright green. <laughs> Neat little Pinto wagon. I don't know if this has a year on it or not. 75, I believe, is what it says. So those were a neat little car in their day. Next to the Poison Pinto, I got a couple of silhouettes, including an original badge with the silhouettes. These actually came with Hot Wheels back in the early days. Just a metal badge with a tab that folded over <laughs> so you could wear it, show it off, or whatever. And I've got a set of silhouettes here. The green one's a little bit rougher. The axles are bent. It does have some more chips in it. it does still have the original red lines on it. The gold silhouette is pretty nice. Still got all of its original red lines. It's got a lot nicer paint, a lot shinier paint. And uh, this silhouette here has been very well preserved. Pretty nice piece. Working our way around, we've got the Pack and Pacer, another car from the 70s obviously <laughs> pretty wild paint scheme on this one yellow windows neat little car date on that one's 1977 so and that's a run that one also is in really nice condition it's uh out of the package but it's been very well preserved uh let's see what we got over here we got a few more over here we'll start back here in the corner with the what was this called the greased gremlin they literally made a race car out of an amc gremlin for a hot wheel which was cool it was different obviously you know the gremlins and pacers are getting more and more popular in today's world but they even put a big wing on this put racing stickers on it so <clears throat> see if we got a year on the greased gremlin here 1978 i believe and also a few chips and nicks, but overall in pretty good shape. Up next, we have a split in image with original button. 
This car is also in pretty decent shape. Original red lines. The axles are bent a little bit on this one. Can't quite make out the year on that. Actually, I don't even see a year on it. So that's got to be late 60s, obviously, with the red lines and the design. Good bright colors. This one has had led a fairly easy life also. So... Anyway, the last one I had picked out for tonight after the splitting image is the Beach Bomb. Cool little VW bus. These are a pretty desirable Hot Wheel. Red line, got the original red lines. Got both original surfboards, which is very difficult to find. The way these things got lost over the years. I think they slide out of here. Got the one on this side too. If we'll cooperate, we'll slide her right back in there so we don't lose it. This one's got a few chips, a few nicks in it. Glass top on it. Neat little truck. The Beach Bombs are really cool. Finding one with, with the original surfboards is always exciting. I don't know if this one has a year on the bottom of it or not. It's like 1969 maybe, which would be about right. So, anyway... That's kind of what I threw together as just kind of a quick sampling as a start to Toy Tuesday. Now, if this is something we're interested in, something we want to keep doing, let me know. We can do it. I have a lot of toys. We can go a long time on toys, memorabilia, things like that. And like we talked about a little earlier, there's a really broad spectrum of where we can go with this if, if we decide we want to keep doing kind of a special segment on toys and memorabilia um so like i said throw some stuff up in the comments you got ideas if you want to see some toys that i may have by all means we'll get them out and we'll talk about them look at them and uh see what uh, what direction we want to go and what we want to do and uh like i said there's a lot of different avenues that we can cover with this stuff and i <laughs> primarily my toys do obviously center around cars so Lots of cool stuff there that I've got laying around that be more than happy to talk about. And uh, as always, if you guys have any specific questions on cars or parts, uh, call me, 620-786-4428. Uh, the toy stuff, I kind of, you know, we'll kind of make it fun and light and whatever you guys want to do. But uh, as always, you know, I appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out, spending a few minutes of your evening with me. Uh, it's fun. I enjoy doing it, but it's pretty boring if I was sitting here by myself. So... Glad you guys are here. Hope you enjoyed this new segment. And uh, hopefully we'll continue it if you guys are interested in doing it. Just let me know. And uh, if you think we should scratch it or, or expand it and, uh, and bring some more toys and memorabilia out. So that's kind of what I had for tonight. Just kind of threw something quick together as an experimental run to see, uh, to see if there was any interest, to see if this is something people like. And uh, I'll throw the video up on YouTube here after we get done. So if you're catching me on YouTube and you like them, please subscribe. If you're on Facebook, please like the page. And uh, hopefully we will see you tomorrow night on the next episode of Nobody's Show, which will be some more cars from the yard. And uh, maybe we'll do some more toys next Tuesday. Thanks for watching, everybody. appreciate you being here, and we will see you tomorrow night.